Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. My well wishes are with you. May you live long, healthy, and safe life. This tutorial is about the sustainability dashboard which LSEC Workspace has created to give the user the quick and efficient view of the sustainability performance of any particular company. I will first show you how to access the sustainability dashboard in the LSEC Workspace. Number two, I will give you the overview of the sustainability dashboard app. Number three, I will show you the definitions used behind the sustainability dashboard and the various data export options. Let's get started with the access to the sustainability dashboard app. In the search bar, write SUSFIN, Sustainable Finance Landing Page. Click on it. On this page, click on Apps and Views. In my previous tutorials, I have gone through ESG statement, ESG fact sheet, ESG scoring profile, ESG pair analysis, and this tutorial is about the sustainability dashboard. So I'm going to click on it. Now we are in the sustainability dashboard user interface. The Apple Inc. is already loaded. If you want to change a company, you can search for the company of your interest. Let's say I'm interested in BHP Group Limited. I have written BHP. The first option is the BHP Group Limited. I'm going to click on it. And I have loaded a BHP Group Limited. Similarly, you can load any company of your interest and you can then uh, navigate through the sustainability dashboard. In this sustainability dashboard, LSEG Workspace has created 11 cards, which includes ESG score evaluation versus benchmark, ESG scoring profile, debt issuance flagged sustainable, news, annual greenhouse gas emissions, diversity and inclusion, annual greenhouse gas emissions percentage change, FTSE Russell Green Revenue, ESG controversies, UN Sustainable Development Goals, Beyond Ratings, Country of Headquarter, and finally, the ESG Research. For each scorecard, you can go into the uh, base application from where the scorecard has been generated by simply clicking on these links. Okay, so if you click on these links, it will take you to the base data from where these cards have been generated. Under each card, you may see the sub-tabs. You can navigate it. Charts to table here. Absolute emissions to emissions intensity here. From bonds to loans. Sector details to pair analysis. Score summary to latest controversies. Controversies by categories. Furthermore, for each card, you will see three dots here. If you click on these three dots, you can see the definitions and export options. If you click on definitions, the LSEC workspace will give all the technical details and the navigation used behind this card. You can read it by yourself. I'm just going to show a couple of examples. So the technical details and the navigation. In terms of export options, you can export data to Excel, image to clipboard, image as email attachment. Data to Excel, image to clipboard, image as email attachment. For example, if you want to export UN Sustainable Development Goals, click on export image to clipboard. So now I can open the Word file and I can paste the data here. If you want to export data into Excel, you can click on data into Excel and open the Excel file, and you will see all the UN Sustainable Development Goals data will be exported to the Excel. This data shows out of 17 Sustainable Development Goals, BHP has committed to 11, which are true, and remaining six, the BHP has no commitment based on the data collected by LSEC Workspace. 
Similarly, you can export the controversies as image to clipboard. I'm going to paste here. Okay, so that's that's the image. And if you want to export the data to Excel, you can do so. Okay, so the controversies data has been downloaded in Excel as well for your further analysis. Okay, so that is it. I have shown you how you can access the sustainability dashboard app. I have given you the quick overview that there are 11 cards which LSEC Workspace has by default created for you for your analysis. Finally, I have shown you the definitions which you can read in terms of technical details and the navigation used for each and every card and the various export options such as data to Excel or the image copied in the clipboard which you can take to the Word file. I will encourage you to practice it for a company of your interest and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or require further guidance. I'll be happy to assist you in your learning of the sustainability dashboard. The more you practice, the better you will become. I'll see you in my future tutorials. Till then, take care and have a very good day.